check this out. Yesterday, this is what the moon was looking like. <clears throat> this is, bef you know, there we go. It is a little misleading. Sometimes it was day or night because I do turn the s setting. Does it say 6 a.m.? Okay, I think uh, the sun might have been just coming up. This is still 6 a.m., but you'll see the uh, one thirteenth of a second versus one one hundredth of a second. So that was a quicker shot. This was almost ten times more exposures. That's why it looks like more light out than this. And actually, I think this is probably closer to what it looked like outside. But sometimes I adjust it manually to get shot. This is a little earlier. Yeah, 5.29 a.m. That was 30 minutes earlier. So... 125th of a second. Not a bad shot right there. And uh, you can see it's just a sliver of the moon. The sun was below the horizon down here around the earth. Jackasses. <laughs> Obviously. But here's the funny thing. The, the flatties have been saying that, oh, it's just transparent. And they'll see a pixel sometimes pop up in the rendering of the video. It's just an artifact. That's a star shining through. Like, they just invent this bullcrap. Oh, check this out. I want to show you something. What's that? That is the whole moon. This is, again, 529 a.m. It was like one shot before this one. Here's, here's what happened, though. Look at this. ISO, that's the sensitivity of your camera digital sensor. 160, it's at pretty low. It's probably pretty normal. Obviously, a good shot. Uh, 125th of a second for the shutter speed. Okay. Look at this. ISO. I might have left it in a manual setting and I made it, realized the mistake. I'm glad I did it. ISO. Sensitivity is turned up to 3200. That's a lot more sensitive than 160. And the frame, the uh, <laughs> two fifths of a second for the, uh, it held that shutter open at that high of a sensitivity versus only 160 sensitivity and 125th of a second. So that was hold the shutter open several times longer with the sensitivity of the sensor cranked. And look at this. If you just look at the part where the sun light is reflecting, it's just a washout white. Just dang. But good thing I did that because I wanted to kind of see if I could do this anyway with manual settings. I was on an accident. <clears throat> and you could see the entire moon. This, you, you could not see this with your naked eye or with binoculars or anything if you were like looking at this if you had this in the shot and the reason why just like what it does to a camera in auto settings is your eye is going to adjust for all this light and when your iris shuts down just like the camera adjusts uh, for the light exposure you this is just invisible to you because it's this there's nothing no light or very low light I should say is reflecting off of it almost nothing in compared to this so it just looks like nothing of course they think it's transparent because it just looks like all the same colors just because the atmosphere you know makes a color here the moon is outside the atmosphere you're not getting the light shining through it that you're detecting through your eye just all sorts of simple explanations like that obviously long exposure looking at the moon like that with the crescent moon look at this the moon is still freaking there guys it's not transparent so busted again Stop being flat-tard retards.